On Saturday, for the first time since 1994, the Mets held Old Timers Day at City Field. Jake Brown, co-host of the Amazing But True podcast, you know he was in the building for Saturday's festivities, and he joins me now. Jake, good to see you. How is it going? I know you were busy yesterday. I got to say, looking back on it, Dexter, like it was such a special day. And, you know, I'm going to pinch myself because getting to hang with my childhood heroes to guys I've watched growing up to college, I'm emotional thinking back on it. There was too much happening Saturday to, you know, put it in the moment. But right now, looking back on it, I never would have thought I'd be there on the field with my heroes and in the suites and talking with them and talking, you know, meeting their kids and meeting their wives and families and it's one of those days I'll look back on as one of the greatest days of, of my life, honestly. Yeah, I know you were busy in a moment, but like you said, when you think back on it, you're going to appreciate that. Nice nice shirt there, by the way. Really nice shirt, as usual. Thank you. you know you bring it. Now, Jake, let's talk a little bit about that. The Mets, they brought back 65 players and managers on Saturday for Old Timers Day. And it had been a generation since Mets fans had the opportunity to witness this. So what did you hear from Mets fans in terms of how they felt about the event? jubilation excitement i mean it shows you what being a mets fan is when the largest cheers of the day might have been for benny agbayani who on other teams is like a fifth outfielder and bartolo cologne i mean bartolo had a nice career but let's be real they got probably the biggest ovations of the day and they might not even get invited to like a yankees all-timers day but it shows you what why we love this team we love the underdogs we love the guys with the big bellies like we do with daniel vocal back now and the fans loved it. You know, it wasn't sold out for the ceremony. Not everyone was there for, you know, the 430. The game was sold out. But it was still a great crowd that got there early. Lines were nuts. People were ready to see their heroes. You know, I was bouncing around suites in different places, and you just see fans bombarding. I was essentially escorting Doc Gooden up. Who would have thought I'd say that sentence in my life up to a suite? And he was getting bombarded selfies. And people, you just see their, their faces and how excited they were to have these guys that they grew up with, that they saw won championships that they saw make it to the World Series as in the 2000 team, the team in 2006 that didn't make it, but guys like Jose Reyes there, people were going insane. And this was one of those days that the Mets needed and they won on top of it. And they had the scoreboard out there, the old theme scoreboard, and they honor Willie Mays and retire his number 24. You couldn't have drew up a better script for a better old timers day at City Field. Now, with it being so long since this happened, Jake, and the Mets stay now 60 years of history to celebrate, do you think Old Timers Day is here to stay? And is it something that is important to the fan base across generations? I think it's essential. And Steve Cohen, Alex Cohen, shout out to the ownership who has done a fantastic job putting this together. Shout out to Jay Horowitz who literally, I want to go through Jay Horowitz's contact list because I think he's got every Met of all time in his context, and he was a big part of putting this together, Dex, you know, setting, texting these guys, hey, would you come out, would you come out? He's just got that Rolodex. This has to be done every year. You know, we got to talk with a lot of them on a live Amazing But True podcast we did at the bar after the game. We got to talk to Doc Gooden, Glendon Rush, Tim Tuffle, Billy Wagner, John Franco, and this is something that needs to be a tradition every year. One, it's an easy sellout, so they'll sell plenty of tickets. Two, just the fans need this. No matter whether the team, it helps that the team's good, but whether the good, bad, in between, ugly, this is one day where we could look back to the fond memories of the Mets. This year it happens to be fond, but in the past years it might not be. So let's bring this back every year. Maybe you retire David Wright's number in a future year at one of these and you make it, you know, a cool little thing. But Old Timers Day is back. And with Uncle Stevie, it's here to stay. I like that. It was a good Old Timers Day. Fans enjoyed it. I know you enjoyed it. Folks, check out the amazing but true podcast. They did a live edition after the game yesterday. A lot of great guests they had on. Jake did a great job with that. Please check that out. Jake, always good to talk Mets with you. Thanks for joining me, man. Thanks for having me.